Butterfly. Butterfly. Camel. Camel. Crab. Crab. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Flamingo. Flamingo. Insects. Insects. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Octopus. Octopus. Snail. Snail. Squirrel. Squirrel. Starfish. Starfish. Swan. Swan. Turtle. Turtle. Beak. Beak. Claws. Claws. Extinct. Extinct. Feather. Feather. Fin. Fin. Fur. Fur. Shell. Shell. the job I do. But now my house is a private zoo too. When animals are ill, I say that they can stay. But when they're feeling better, they never go away. There are bats in the basement, lions in the living room, and crocodiles and camels in the kitchen. There are butterflies in my bedroom, chickens on the chairs, and the swan on the swing in the garden. There's fur on my fridge, and look at those wings. Insects flying all around my windows. There's a shark in the bath, enjoying a shower, so I've got to put that octopus outside. Animals. I can't take any more. I can't keep a dolphin or a dinosaur. Too many animals. I know what to do. You're all going back to the zoo. There are bats in the basement, lions in the living room, and crocodiles and camels in the kitchen. There are butterflies in my bedroom, chickens on the chairs, and the swan on the swing in the garden. There's fur on my fridge, and look at those wings. Insects flying all around my windows. There's a shark in the bath, enjoying a shower, so I've got to put that octopus outside. My Uncle Jim's a sailor. He travels the world on his ship and visits different countries. Uncle Jim loves animals very much. He says that many of them are in danger of becoming extinct. That's why we have to protect them. Last year, Uncle Jim went to the beautiful Galapagos Islands. The Galapagos Islands are to the west of Ecuador, 
and they are very interesting. They are made up of volcanoes. Sometimes it's warm and wet, and sometimes it's cool and dry there. You can find amazing animals on the land, and in the sea around the islands, you can find jellyfish and starfish, and lots of other different fish with incredible fins. Uncle Jim took lots of pictures of them, and then he told me about his adventures. What did you see in the Galapagos Islands, Uncle Jim? When my ship stopped at the first island, I got a warm welcome from the red rock crabs. They jumped up and down on the rocks and ran around on the water. They are very funny because they can walk on water as they move from rock to rock. I took some pictures of them. And waved to a group of long-legged and long-necked flamingos. They kept busy with cleaning their beautiful pink feathers and funny flat beaks. I took a really good picture of them while the red rock crabs were dancing around me. Did you save any animals there, Uncle Jim? Oh yes, I saved a baby Galapagos turtle. The Galapagos Islands are famous for the biggest and the heaviest turtles in the world. They are very heavy, and their shells are really big. They also have strong claws that they use to dig holes with. Well, one day I was walking along the beach when I saw a baby turtle. It was lying upside down on its small shell. I picked it up. And turned it over. It quickly ran to its mother, who was resting in a hole further along the beach. She was very happy to see her baby running towards her. How old was the baby's mother? Oh, she was still quite young, maybe fifty years old. The Galapagos turtle can live for one hundred and sixty years. Look at this picture. Wow. Tell me about the next animal that you saved on the Galapagos Islands, Uncle Jim. The next day, I was walking along the beach. Suddenly, I noticed that the sand was covered with starfish. They were a long way from the sea, and it was a hot day, so they needed to get to the water quickly. I picked one of the starfish up as two young boys were walking past. One of them stopped and asked. What are you doing? I'm saving the starfish. But you can't save them all. I picked up another starfish and I said, "But I can save these." The boys smiled and offered their help. I think we saved more than one thousand starfish. It was a fantastic day. I have learned many facts about animals from my uncle Jim. Now I'm busy collecting more information about them. Like my uncle Jim, I want to save animals and protect them. Today, I left some nuts under a tree for a squirrel in my garden. Yesterday, it rained heavily, and lots of snails were on the sidewalk. I had to walk very carefully to not step on them, so I picked them up and put them on the grass. I think I saved more than one hundred snails yesterday. What can I do tomorrow? This video edited by Kiwi English Center. Kiwi English Center. Bringing English to your life.